Hey there, let's talk about some air travel today. So I know this channel is a little eclectic, but let's go back to our roots of air travel. So I need to go to Quito. Well, I don't need to go to Quito. I want to go to Quito. So I'm hanging out on the coast of Ecuador. And if I want to go to Quito, that's actually pretty easy. I could take a taxi, a little expensive. That's a couple hundred bucks. Hop on a bus, pretty cheap. Uh, those two options are like a seven hour ride. Not my favorite. And I like air travel because I like free booze and lounges. So in this particular case, also the air travel is probably one of the cheaper ways to go there because you can pop up to Quito from Manta on the TAM or on Avianca for less than a hundred bucks. And, but uh, why would you want to fly direct when you can um, fly all around South America to get there? That's the fun way to do it. So recently there was announced, actually a couple months ago, that uh, Copia Airlines announced that they are putting in a new route from Manta to Panama. This will actually be the first international route coming out of pa Manta's international airport uh, since, I don't know how long, a very long time. So it was really exciting, but I have never flown Copia Airlines. So obviously if I'm going to go to Quito, why fly direct on two airlines I've flown on? Let's go to two or three different countries to get there and fly on a new airline. So let's bring up the map. And so we're going to do a quick visual aid thing. So here I am down in Manta. If I want to go from Manta to Ecuador, like it's or to Quito, super easy. But like I said, Copia opened up that new route or it's opening. I think it's June 17th. It actually opens. So that will go from Manta to Panama. So we could do that and then fly Panama directly down back to Quito. As it turns out, that is an expensive option. Uh, you have to, if you booked to Panama, then book to Quito. I'll show you the prices. It's substantially different if, if you uh, instead opt to book a different way, where you could book from Manta to Panama to Bogota to Quito, or even if I wanted to pop all the way up to Miami on this route. So let's look at some of the pricing options that I think are really interesting and kind of uh, harks back to the skip lagging term. So if you've never heard of skip lagging, it's basically booking a route and then not flying the, the last part of that route. So if I wanted to fly from Manta to Panama, that's a $779 ticket if you want to fly business class. I'm kind of big. I like the leg room. However, if I actually book Manta to Bogota, that's a $479 ticket. That's a $300 ticketing difference in price there. And the first leg of this is Manta to Panama. This flight, that's actually $300 more. So if I just booked Manta to Bogota, flew up to Panama and got off the plane, well, you get off the plane anyways, it's a, there's a layover, and didn't take the second flight, just got out and went in, on into Panama, that would be a $300 savings. That's significant. I'm not following the math here. That's probably a 40% a savings, 60% of the ticket price, something like that. Now, do the airlines like it when you do that? No. Will the airlines uh, finally get fed up with you doing it and come after you. I've heard rumors. I don't know. I've actually never done this personally, but uh, you could quickly see how this could save you a lot of money. A couple caveats. If you start playing these games, you might run into trouble with the airlines. And also you absolutely cannot check a bag because your bag will end up in the final destination. They won't take it off for you. So be careful with that. But I'm not skip lagging in this case because what I plan on doing or thinking about doing, I might uh, go all the way up to Miami, is do the Panama to Bogota route, which saves me $300, and then enjoy the lounges in Bogota so I can go up and um, maybe if I've got time, I'd have to change this layover here because there wouldn't be enough time just on this layover, but go up and enjoy the lounges in Panama, then pop over to Bogota and enjoy the lounges, maybe stay the night or two in Bogota and then pop over to Manta on a LATAM flight. So you can see, even if I do all the way up to Bogota and then grab a LATAM flight the next day, that ticket is half the price, less than half the price. 
of going to Monta to Panama, Panama to Quito. It's sort of weird, but this airline pricing for you, it's always weird. So this way I can go up, I can fly up to Bogota, spend you know, two or three nights there and a hotel. And I think the Hilton's about a hundred bucks a night right next to the airport, if I recall, and enjoy a couple nights in Bogota, then fly on to Quito for a lot less money. So it pays to do a little airline research while you're looking around at stuff. But like I said, I don't know all the ins and outs of what the airlines think about skip lagging. I remember there was a company called Skip Lag that would help you book these tickets. I don't know the state of them. Because like I said, that's not something I actually do. I just found it interesting that if you change your, your flights, you can get a lot cheaper flight a couple days in Bogota uh, just for looking around, shopping around a little bit, doing copia to an off city such as Bogota. I'm not saying Bogota's off. I'm just saying that's a route that they uh, obviously want to cut costs on. That simple route from Manta to um, to Panama is obviously something they're charging a lot for. And if you just book on through, you can have fun in another country, enjoy some lounges. Don't forget the free booze in the lounges. And then end up at your final destination after having a little fun. So just some information. I think this stuff is fun. And I certainly love lounge surfing. You've seen the videos on here of me just flying off to different places just to surf the lounges in, inside the uh, terminals. Uh, if you find this interesting, yeah, think about clicking on the uh, subscribe. You get this kind of video and uh, other eclectic stuff on travel and living abroad and doing the digital nomad thing or the slow mad thing in my case at this point. So I hope you have a good day and find this stuff fun. Take care.